Hello, my name is Dorothy Nyongo, and I'm the first lady of Kisumu County in Kenya. I'm also the chair of programs committee of the County First Ladies Association, and I'm a passionate advocate for women's health. I am the managing trustee of Africa Cancer Foundation, and also a member of the Kenya and Malaria Council. My name is Jacqueline Mambua. I am the head of government affairs in East Africa, Soros. The burden of women's cancers in Eastern Africa is immense and growing. Cervical and breast cancers are the most common cancers in Eastern Africa, representing nearly one third of total cases and nearly half of cases affecting women by the year 2022. The incidence of both cancers is increasing across the region. And in Kenya alone, annual cases of cervical cancer are expected to rise from around 5,000 to more than 11,000. And the annual cases of breast cancer will also double, reaching more than 14,000 by the year 2040. While a patient who is diagnosed with cancer at early stages has greater chances for survival, better clinical outcomes, and quality of life, in many countries in Africa, up to 80% of patients are diagnosed at late to end stages. The high disease burden is further challenged by the systemic barriers that limit patient access to early diagnosis and appropriate treatment and care. This includes a lack of screening, diagnostic capabilities, low human capacity, infrastructure, and funding barriers. The Kenya Empower Project is an integrated women's health initiative aimed at contributing to the prevention, early diagnosis, treatment with standard of care, and education of Kenyan women on breast and cervical cancer. Established as a unique partnership between Roche the county governments of Kenya, county referral hospitals, the County First Ladies Association, the International Cancer Institute, Africa Cancer Foundation, and Women for Cancer. The program demonstrates the power of what is possible through integrated cancer prevention and treatment within primary health care across the Kenyan health system. To date, 14 Empower clinics have been launched across Kenya in rural areas, 12 of which were opened during the COVID-19 pandemic. These clinics have trained 300 community health workers, including women living with disabilities, and healthcare professionals to provide facility-based and community-based screening and early detection for breast cancer, cervical cancer, hypertension, and diabetes. Across the 14 facilities, more than 25,000 people have been screened. Through awareness activities, strengthening of the healthcare system, improved healthcare delivery, and regulatory level activities, the program is addressing socioeconomic and geographic barriers to patient screening and is supporting effective referral support and treatment following a diagnosis. Among the 25,000 people screened, more than 13,000 women have been screened for breast cancer, and more than 10,000 have been screened for cervical cancer. And currently, 950 people are receiving treatment. The Empower model is about women, leadership, and access. It provides an integrated approach to non-communicable diseases care, where diabetes and hypertension screening are also conducted alongside cancer screening. And as more people attended the screening events with their families, prostate cancer was added to screening as well. We have screened more than 4,000 people for diabetes and more than 6,000 people for hypertension and more than 1,000 men for prostate cancer. The Empower model is replicable and can be scaled up in the low and middle income countries around the world. It has already been adopted 
for women's cancers in Tanzania and Nigeria. We encourage you to pursue innovative partnerships like the one that supports Empower so that we can reach more women and reduce the cancer burden. Thank you. Thank you.